Did you ever meet someone and just know you were meant to have a special relationship? I remember so vividly the first time we spoke. I knew we were going to meet that day. I woke up with this groin throb and I had no idea why. I was like, did I get an STD for my trip to Armenia? Then I thought, not possible. I brought my own toilet seat covers. Now, of course, I know that is like the bat signal of our auras. He calls to me from his groin and I answer with mine. I answer him with my groin. My groin answers. Groin is such a soulful word, don't you think? It was on the street in front of his house. Such a coincidence that I was there at that moment filming my documentary on palm trees and the rats who inhabit them. It was such a wonderful What the fuck? Hi, KJ. <laughs> you probably don't remember me. What a marvelous night for a moon dance. <laughs> Not familiar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Magda. I don't bite anymore. It's okay. When we touched, it was like a key fitting into a lock, and it solidified everything that I already knew. It's so crazy how cosmic time-denying relationships manifest themselves in physical ways. For example, we are both right-handed. And every morning I would wake up with this same throbbing calling me, and I just had to do something about it. So I made the trek to his house over and over because I'm not the kind of girl who gives up on something that was meant to be. And when he took out that restraining order, I still knew I needed to find a way to connect with him again, to let his key fit in my lock. Not in a sexual way, because this goes way beyond the body, but in a transgressional kind of way. And when that word became a part of my consciousness, I knew that the universe wanted us to connect by any means necessary. I mean, there were just too many worldly coincidences to show that our relationship was something well beyond this realm. I felt like he just needed a sign to know that we were meant to be together. And I thought maybe since I have the ability to communicate transgressionally with dogs, that I would get a dog and I would talk to my dog and that dog could talk to his dog and then his dog could talk to him and then we could talk to each other. We have the same dog. But he still didn't get it. But then I discovered it. He was not the man I thought he was. He was not the right hand man I thought he was. No lefty is going to be the center of my life. That's just the way it is.